I'm sick and tired of going Murray cod fishing and catching nothing. So today I've come up to Lake Samble to see if I can catch a redfin or a yellow belly. Right now I'm up here with two different uh, rod and reel outfits today. This is one of my main two spinning rods. I'm starting off with a uh, Stry Tiger Nymph in banana split colour and a 1 16th ounce jig head. And on this rod, which I just tangled with the other rod, I've got a Domeki blade. This is a little lightweight baitcaster setup that I caught that Murray caught on at Lake Buffalo recently. I've got a 7 gram Domeki blade on there. I'll flick the soft plastic around for a while and see if I can pick up a couple of reddies and then I'm going to cast the blade and fish it down deep and hopefully catch either a bigger redfin or a yellow belly. That's the plan. Got him. Yes. Yes. Bit of weight in these fish. It's a lovely red fin, look at that. You little beauty. I'm gonna look at my camera now to make sure I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording. I am recording. I haven't got a landing net, I've got to tell you a funny story. I uh, went to grab my landing net and it was full of redbacks. So I've left it out in the hot sun and I'll bring it next time. I'm going to try and thumb this fish. There we go folks, look at that. You little ripper. What a lovely red fin caught on the Stry Tiger Nymph in banana split colour. And that is going straight in the esky. That is an esky fish for sure. Get a couple of quick picks. Right, yeah, folks. He's pulled the, the plastic off the jig yet a little bit, but that's okay. I can fix that pretty quickly. That is a very nice red fin, and I'm putting him in the esky. I'm going to take him home for a feed. You little ripper. I think I've just caught one fish more than I would have caught if I'd gone Murray cod fishing tonight. <laughs> now, although the banana split caught me that nice red fin, I'm going to change to my favourite colour, the white bait pearl. This is my favourite red fin colour. And the reason for the change is because I've been fishing for quite a while to catch that one fish. I haven't had any other hook, like strikes or hits or anything, so I might just change colour and just see if that makes any difference. Right, folks, I'm on. I'm on to a good one. Yes, another nice red fin. You little beauty. There you go, folks. Not as nice as the, not quite as nice as the first one, but big enough for the esky. I'm going to quickly break his neck and drop my soft plastic down there, back down in case there's a school there. You little ripper. I'm going to put him. Now that red fin hit that plastic as it was sinking just in here so it's hard to see exactly where I was because the wind's blowing me around a bit. But he hit that on the sink. As the plastic was sinking down he hit that. Got another one. Oh, I lost him. Had another one on exactly the same spot. Oh, I'm not cool.
I just got back on the water. I went back to the car for a, uh, a quick drink and a swim and to gut those couple of redfin. Anyway, you wouldn't believe what happened. There was these two bullies over there that were bashing up a little boy. So I stepped in to help. That little boy didn't stand a chance against the three of us. It's right on sunset, the magic hour. And I have switched to this Domeki Volt 42 blade to try and catch a yellow belly. I find yellow belly are often more active this time of the night. And I find that they just love metallic lures, whether it's a spinner bait or a blade, a bladed spinner. So it's a good time of night to catch yellow belly. I'm in a lake with yellow belly in it, and I'm using a lure that I've caught yellow belly on in the past. The rest is in the hands of the fishing gods. <laughs> Righty, folks. Now I only caught the two redfin, and there was no yellow belly to be seen. But here's some food for thought. I only caught the two redfin, but I'm taking home two more redfin than I've taken home for my last four trips to Lake William Hovel. Food for thought, or food for my tummy. It's both. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, why not give me a big fat thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.